when I was a kid, I'd be like, I'm gonna be a singer. People would be like, so what's your plan B? I'm like, I'm gonna be a singer. My name is Karen, spelled with a U. Karun, as some say. When I first started, um, I wasn't really thinking about my career or anything like that, because I was 13. And uh, Taylor just invited me to the studio and I was like, I've always wanted to do music, hell yeah, let's just make some music, let's just record. Uh, when we first started recording Kamula stuff back in the day, uh, her and I would always be like with each other, writing. I've always known I will sing in some way and I have things that I want to express in my own songs as my own artist and I have things that I want to just play around with other people as well and I love feeding off of their energy. So being in a group and being a solo musician at the same time is like, it's perfect. Being a musician feels like it's so much more a part of me needing to communicate emotions and art and everything. So it's always been a part of me. I've, I've been a musician my whole life before I was professionally a musician, before anybody even heard my music, before I even made a, a song. From the inside looking out, the progression of my solo music has been from a happy, poppy, youthful, experimental. Well, it was experimental in the fact that I was experimenting with what I could do, but the sound wasn't experimental, it was more pop. So now my sound is more experimental, like it's a little bit more out there, it's a little bit more risky, it's more authentic as well. It's like I'm really just diving deep into my inner child, into my authentic, like whatever comes out of me, it comes out of me, that's how it was. No, that's how it is. Wow. <laughs> With my fans, like my fans, me as Karun, I've found that they resonate more with me as a person and the kind of things that I believe in, the kind of things that I post about, the things that I talk about. I think it's more than just music with my fans. Initially, I did just want to be a singer and I started working with a lot of producers and that was fun, but I felt like there was something that wasn't being said in the production world and I felt like I could contribute to that and I was also getting kind of frustrated that all the producers around me were men so I was like, okay, hell yeah, I'm just gonna figure out how to produce on my own and then I went to school to study and I guess I could call myself a producer now. <laughs> She's really, really fast right now. Karen is super fast songwriter, super fast um, as far as just like Trusting, trusting herself um, um, in being able to articulate what she's feeling musically, which is so inspiring, you know. When I was pregnant, I wasn't making music, and it was weird because I was in love with all this technology until I got pregnant. And I guess that birthing energy kind of made me refocus on what it means to be like a human being and away from technology. <laughs> as soon as I had Prince, though, Having had that break from technology, I just kind of created from a more authentic place. People have so many ideas about what it means to be a mom and like having a kid will do this and blah, 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 and whatever. And like, I found none of it to be true, honestly. If you're not, like, if that wasn't what you planned, you can feel like your whole life is going to change in a negative way. And it, it's really a beautiful thing. So since having Prince, he's seven months now. So it's been seven months of me just like creating music. And I never thought that I would make music again because of how I felt with technology, but that went away. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot, but I feel way more inspired right now to make art. I have a real reason almost. Honestly, before I felt like it was a very selfish thing to be wanting to be famous and blah, 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 blah. But like now it's just, it's, this is just what I do. And this is how I interact with the world. This is what I'm here for. Her as an engineer, it, it, it's ridiculous. Her as a bass player. Um, so anytime uh, Runka shows up in the studio or elsewhere, um, I'm always excited because I feel like um, something magical is about to happen.